Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. It's a dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We also have Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Question today came in, how do we count times that are greater than five minutes? So here's some sample times. We want to count how many of those are greater than five minutes. And before I jump into that, let's just talk about using the count if function a little bit. Uh, normally, you know, so we have some numbers here and the way the count if typically is used equal count if go look at this range and see how many of those are equal to the number three three being the criteria so that shows us that there are one two three four five cells that are equal to three uh, but it is possible to build somewhat complex criteria in here and we can put in quotes say everything that is greater than or equal to three um, and that will count all eight cells that are greater than three. So we're going to talk today about building uh, some uh, sort of complex criteria. A um, couple of ways to go. One is to say equal count if and we specify this range of cells over here and then I'm going to build a complex criteria where I use the greater than sign and then an ampersand and uh, to get that time in there, I'm going to use the time function. Time, 0 hours, 5 minutes, and 0 seconds. And then another parenthesis to close the count if. And we will see that there are, in fact, four cells that work. Now, if it's a hassle to you to use the time function, you could just come over here to the left and put in an actual time. So we have you know, the 12.05 AM, which uh, is formatted to show us 5 minutes and then use a formula here that says we're going to use the greater than the greater than sign and concatenate that with the value of D7 and that will work and the beautiful thing here is that if we would change the criteria uh, to be maybe uh, 00300 0, 0, 0, uh, it will do a different calculation 0, 0, 0, 0, different calculation and so on uh, the third method though the one that seems uh, just the easiest to me is to do equal count if We'll look at our range over here and then we're going to build a, a criteria in quotes where we say greater than 0 colon 0 5 colon 0 0. So we're actually formatting the time to how it looks back here and Excel takes a look at that and understands what we're trying to do and sure enough comes up with the answer of four. So three different ways to solve this. Now we're going to turn it over to Mike and have uh, Mike take a look at different ways that he can come up with formulas to solve the same problem. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, those were three amazing methods. Look at that one. The time, that's a great one. This one right here, very good because it's linked to the cell. Ah, and this one, wow, with the time built right in. Now, lots of people like to hard code like this into the cell, and if it's always five minutes, that's certainly fine to do. Uh, we'll do a variation on that. Let's think about uh, how many hours there are in one day. There's 24. How many minutes? 60. So total minutes in a day will be the product of those two. And we have five minutes. Our uh, number of minutes that we're interested in is five minutes. Now, what is time anyway? Right? If we type 8 a.m., 8 colon 0, 0 space a.m., if we control 1 and go look at the format, time, right? So time looks something like that. But if we get rid of, remember, we typed it in this way. We type, That's how we typed it in. But if we get rid of all the formatting with the general, we can see that it's a proportion of one 24-hour day. So we could actually build our formula 5 divided by 1440. So we could do equals count if and get that range right there, comma, and then in quotes, greater than and double quote shift 7 for ampersand and then 5 divided by 1 4 0 close parentheses and that one will work another variation if and for some times uh, when you're look at, when you're dealing with time like 8 hours the fractional equivalent is really easy it's just equals 1 divided by 3 right there's uh, 1 8 out of three in 24 hours. So let's see if we can figure out if we're always, always dealing with five minutes. Maybe we can see how many five minutes, if we can reduce this fraction. So how about just, um, we're interested in five. So I'm going to take the uh, 1440 and divide that by the five. And sure enough, we get 
288. So probably an even better formula, if we were doing this all the time and we like to do it this way, is just 1 divided by 288. Now really in this case maybe you'd want to use one of these others, but if you're dealing with time like hour, 8 hours or something, then there, and there's a simple fractional equivalent, then go ahead and use that. But this one will work, 1 divided by 288. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick. Hey, all right, well, how about that? Next time someone wants you to do something, you're going to say, that. I'm going to be there in five minutes. You're going to say, hey, I'm going to be there in 1 288th of a day. All right, on behalf of Mike and myself, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast.